let's look at the population of the Hajj and the number of Hajjis and uh, there are different comorbidities and uh, the risky population, the elderly and those Hajjis, some of them have different comorbidities, different illnesses and different compliance with the medication to start with. And as I mentioned, with our well-developed medical staff, units, protocols, ambulance services that provides immediate uh, management. We have if noticed, alhamdulillah, any abnormal or deviation from the normal numbers of uh, morbidities and mortalities. Uh, Up to today, we, we've reached more than 2,700 problems who suffered from heat uh, illnesses, diseases. And uh, just to mention, in overall, the health uh, services that have been provided during this past season, uh, we've served more than 140,000 uh, patients in the hospitals and different centers. The center has this huge operation room, state-of-the-art technologies, a lot of dashboards. We divide it into three sections. The first section, look at surveillance, so early detection of any possible hazards, including heat strokes. We monitor the weather, we monitor the health of all uh, pilgrims 24-7 uh, from the moment they reach the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. From our risk assessment, we knew that this season gonna be very hot. The weather is extremely hot. And even f before pilgrims arrive, we started our campaign by educating everyone about uh, how to protect themselves, how to use umbrellas, how to keep themselves hydrated, how to avoid uh, crowdness, and how to seek help, and where to seek help as well. Regla.